What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. We got the game that made Brock Purdy famous. Let's check this out. In this video, we will be talking about when a rookie Brock Purdy took on the GOAT, Tom Brady. Oh, this is the game that made... I thought the game that made him famous was the Dolphins game where he first came in. never happened again. Okay. The quarterback class from the 2022 NFL Draft has been terrible. Out of the nine QBs taken in the draft, just two seasons Holy later, shit. only two of them are still... Damn, bro. This, bro, this... <laughs> Yo, this draft class looks fucking crazy. Now, look, looking back at this shit, this draft class was horrible. Kenny Pickett was drafted in the first round, and now he's a backup for the um for the Eagles. Desmond Ritter was a starter. Now he's a backup for the Cardinals. Malik Willis was somewhat a starter for the Titans. Now he's a backup. Matt Corral, I think he's a backup for the Vikings, I believe. Bailey Zappi's a free agent. Sam Howe is a backup for the um Seahawks now. Chris Olodokin's a backup for the um, Chiefs. And Skylar Thompson is a backup for the Dolphins, bro. This nigga, Brock Purdy, was the last quarterback taken. And is the only one still starting. That is crazy. Original teams, and it's okay. the last two QBs who got drafted. The latter was Brock Purdy, who was taken with the very last pick in the 2022 NFL Draft and getting the nickname Mr. Mr. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. And it's Mr. Not Irrelevant no more, bro. Been a seventh round pick. As a four-year starter, he put up consistently good stats, but when he turned on the game tape, that's where the story changed. Many scouts were concerned about his size, arm strength, and whether his production would translate to the NFL game. Many called him nothing more than a backup QB, with his player wow. comparisons not being too glamorous. Who the fuck either. is Matt However, Barkley? Bro, <laughs> what? The 49ers still decided to take a chance on him with the very last pick in the draft. For Bro, and, it's, and like, it is crazy how, like, um, like how people just continue to call him a system QB. Like this nigga was not even supposed to be a starter in the NFL, bro. You know what I'm saying? Drafted. You know what I'm saying? L the last um pick in the NFL draft. He had two quarterbacks sitting in front of him. Trey Lance and Jimmy Garoppolo. Both of them got injured, and then he got his shot. And he has strived in Kyle Shanahan's offense unlike any other quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Jimmy G didn't didn't shine this well in that offense, even though he took him to the Super Bowl. So did this nigga. He took him to two consecutive NFC Championship games and a Super Bowl. Trey Lance, I mean, even though he got hurt, he still didn't look all that good in his first, like, one and a half games playing. Season, he but, was not expected to do much. You know what I'm saying? On the 49ers depth chart, there were two QBs ahead of him. The first right on Q, was bro. Trey Lance, the number three overall pick from the 2021 NFL Draft. Yo. After spending his rookie season as a backup, the club expected Lance to take the next step this year, being named the week one starter of the 2022 season, in what was expected to be his first of many seasons as the new 49ers franchise. I was, I was really Room for him, bro. Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy G was traded to San Francisco in 2017, instantly becoming the starter. He was the one who led the team to a Super Bowl appearance in 2019 and quickly followed that up with another NFC Championship game appearance in the 2021 season. However, the team felt like it was best for them to move on from the 30-year-old QB after that season since they had Lance waiting in the wings. But no other team was able to give in to the 49ers asking price, so he ended up staying on the roster as the QB2. So with the expected future franchise quarterback as QB1, plus an established NFL starter as QB2, Purdy wasn't expected to have much of an impact his rookie year. Facts. Until just two weeks into the season, this happened. They're gonna go with Trey Lance on this play as he kept it and absorbed quite the hit. And Lance is down right now. Mm. Hey, look at his ankle hit. turn, Lance bro. Lance is down, and Jimmy Garoppolo may see early action today in the first quarter. This should give you a sense, if you're watching at home, how serious uh, the injury was to... You can see all his body weight to just, his lower leg. just drop just on his the ankle, man. Game into the season, Trey Lance's year was over with a broken ankle. And while this was bad news for Lance... It was good news for I felt so bad for him, bro. As he was bro. then promoted to the backup quarterback and would even see a little bit of playing time late in the couple of games. Like, bro, it is crazy that, that these two were both rookies. You know what I'm saying? Um, This shit happened, and now both of them just lit up the Jets yesterday. The next 10 games, shit is crazy. He would be on deck waiting for any opportunity he could get. And one did really early on in week 13. They get it off. Garoppolo in trouble. And he is sacked. 
So this is something to keep an eye on. This is after Jimmy Garoppolo was sacked at the end of the last drive in a lot of pain. Oh! Gets rolled up on, and Garoppolo off on a cart. So it will be Brock Purdy, last pick of the draft. That's right. For the second time this season, a 49er QB would be lost for the year due to a lower leg injury. But there was still a I'm telling you, bro. Game that Brock was one of them chosen ones, bro. I'm telling you. Down for the count. Because, like, there's, bro, it's, it's not every day that you see a seventh round QB be a starter, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and be able to thrive as a starter in the NFL, bro. Like, he was not supposed to be here, but he was one of them chosen ones, bro, by God. God chose him to be as great as he is right now, bro. I'm Step telling you. To help keep the 49ers season alive. And he, he's going to end up being a Super Bowl champion before the end of his career, bro. NFL, I'm telling you. He did. And so it's the rookie Brock Purdy. 100%. Who just mop up duty in one game in the NFL against Kansas City earlier this year. Purdy given time, and he completes it to McCaffrey. First down to the 40. They get it off. Purdy looks to throw. Use check. Touchdown, San Francisco. Bro, throwing him dots. Niners take the lead, and Brock Purdy off of the bench as his first NFL touchdown. Snap floats back there, kind of threw off the timing of the play. Debo Samuel makes something out of nothing. A gain of seven. Commanders, some big decisions for those head coaches and what ended a tie. Got rid of as he was hit and found Kittle. What a throw from Brock Purdy, who had Jalen Phillips all over him from the start. Tua Tungavailoa has just not been accurate today. Jennings has his first catch, coming off his best game. Juwan Jennings, crunch from behind by Wilkins. How many did they bring here? It's a screen. McCaffrey trying to guess it. Christian McCaffrey makes it first and goal. Purdy underneath for the touchdown. It's McCaffrey. Second touchdown throw off of the bench for Purdy. 49ers with it again. Purdy off play action. Anticipates and has Samuel. Knifes it. Through. Damn, what a catch. Great hands from Debo Samuel. Bro. It's a sneak and it's the fuck? Nowhere. Second effort. Oh. <laughs> and it's I like that leg drive. He got stuck. Okay. Spun around. Move the chains. Purdy looks to throw for it. Over the middle, mm. he's got Samuel. First down, Hot. San Francisco. I mean, that window is continuing to shrink, and you've got it threaded perfectly to the San Francisco 49ers. For the 49ers, meanwhile, you cross your fingers about Jimmy Garoppolo. You've Brock Purdy certainly uh, did well for himself today. Quite an impression in his first meaningful action. He goes 25 for 37, 210 yards, two touchdowns, but a really good game, leading the 49ers to the 33-17 win, their fifth in a row to move to 8-4. That's right. The that third straight rookie QB who was drafted with the very last pick in the NFL draft, just dotted up one of the best teams in the NFL. But despite the insane performance, not a lot of people were sold on Brock Purdy being able to lead the Niners deep into a playoff run. Yesterday afternoon, like we saw how they're going to have to win these games, and that's being led by their defense, and their defense was fantastic yesterday. So as you move forward, you've got to look at D'Amico Ryans and what his unit's going to do and say, you guys are the ones who are going to lead us, not necessarily our quarterback, not necessarily our high-flying passing offense. The, the Mr. Irrelevant thing is so cute and so perfect, and it's going to be run with, and it's, it's like a Disney movie, a hockey mom president. Like, Mr. Irrelevant Super Bowl MVP. Mm -hmm. This is a devastating day yesterday. This season's not over, but this is a massive, Huge. massive gut punch. Uh, Jimmy G is not going to throw 400 yards in the NFC title game, but he's going to make four or five massive throws based on experience, and I don't know if Brock Purdy it can do that or not. We're, this is a gut punch. Yeah. Massive. So going into his first career start, facing a team with an elite defense and the greatest player of all time at Tom Brady. Purdy stood no chance. The GOAT. Blitz coming. Third down. Purdy fires. It's caught by Kittle over the middle. And a third down conversion for a first down for the Niners. Purdy back to throw. Pressure coming. Steps away. Looking to run. And he walks it in for the touchdown. Oh, is he for real? Are they just trying to pump him up? Well, I'll tell you what, there's a spark to his game, and you can see these guys in San Francisco just love this young kid. His parents here, his dad, Sean, his mom, Carrie. What a moment. <laughs> yeah. 14 0 Niners. Purdy makes a swim move. Damn. And find Debo Samuel. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Purdy got what great pocket run. presence, it man. Brock Purdy. What's coming? Purdy lofting, going deep. Has McCaffrey. He 
He's got it. Touchdown, San Francisco. And they chant Purdy. They're chanting. 20 Purdy, nothing. It's crazy. Way. Brock Purdy chants in Santa Clara. And mom and dad are mm. having a moment right now. This is this is pretty special to watch. I mean, can you even imagine? I can't. Why? Why? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Having a moment. Why is right brother? Now, why? Is, is, why Brock's bro brother looks like Zach Wilson? This is pretty man. special to watch. I mean, can you even imagine? I can't. Another monster day. Here's Purdy. Fires and it's caught by Ayuk who sprints away out across the 40. Four man rush. Purdy loaded up going deep. Damn, bro, Brock got drilled. Touchdown, 49ers. Are you kidding? Brock Purdy's going to celebrate. His family's here. We showed you his mom and dad in attendance. I mean, what a day. 49ers aren't just hoping on today. They're hoping they're hoping that he can lead them to the Super Bowl. It's so Purdy you know time. After today, Greg, doesn't feel that unrealistic anymore, does it? 49ers gonna win it 35 to 7 and Brock Purdy well, doesn't get anymore, does what, what did I say? 49ers. First QB to beat Tom Brady in first career start, man. That is gonna crazy. win it 35 to 7 and Brock Purdy, the first quarterback to beat Tom Brady in a first career start ever. Wow, man. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, Brock Purdy is one of them special QBs, man. You know what I'm saying? You like you're, you're we're starting to see the, the same trend each and every year where these like seventh round or sixth round picks are playing better than some of the starters, you know what I'm saying? That that get drafted in the first round, bro. You feel me? Like this shit is crazy, but like I love Brock Purdy's story, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, and people are like they're gonna continue to hate, but the hate hate it for Brock Purdy is not gonna stop anytime soon, especially after he gets a Super Bowl. That will happen either sooner or rather than later, bro. I'm telling you. Probably like in the next couple years or so, he's gonna get his first ring. Hopefully not yet this year. Hopefully my Ravens win. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying. But um, hey, I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And um, let me know what other NFL videos y'all want me to react to. Without further ado, I'm out. Gang.